Hey everyone, it's Brian here with Guardian Bikes, here to show you how to install training wheels on your new Guardian bike. But before we even get started with this, if you haven't already checked it out, I'd encourage you to check out our balance bike method video. We'll link it here in the description. It can be an easier way for kids to learn how to ride a bike without training wheels, but every kid learns differently. And so if you want to install training wheels on the bike, we'll get started with that now. The training wheels will come disassembled like this. You'll have a shoulder bolt, a wheel, a flange nut, a locking nut, and then some brackets. For tools, you'll need a 17 millimeter wrench or an 11 16th, same size, a half inch wrench, a 15 millimeter wrench, and you can also use an adjustable wrench if you have one. So the training wheels will come with a helpful diagram showing how everything gets put together. So you can kind of take that out and follow along. You'll start with your wheel, take your shoulder bolt, put it through the wheel, then take your flange nut and start just hand tightening it on. You want the flange, this flat part, to face outward. So that goes all the way on. And then you can take your bracket and you're going to want to point it out like that. The shoulder bolt can go through and then your locking nut goes on the outside. So you want to hand tighten that on at first. And you can start with just having everything hand tightened on. Um, as we start putting this together, we can start using the tools and tightening everything down. Now you're going to have this support bracket. So the way the support bracket works is it's actually going to go on the bike and provide support like this. So you're going to put this little rubber thing on the end of this support bracket that just helps protect it from scratching the frame. And once it's like that, you'll ready to move to the next step. Now what's going to happen is uh, this support bracket is going to sit like this on a 16 inch bike. It's going to be in the lower part of the channel. The 20 inch bike, it's going to be on the upper part of the channel. This is a 16 inch bike here. So it's going to sit there and you can start to see how the training wheels are actually going to fit on this bike. Now what you need to do is start loosening this nut. Now the helpful hint and pay attention to this is you don't want to loosen both these nuts uh, together at the same time. You want to start with one, install the training wheel on this side. Don't touch this one yet. Once the training wheel is done and being installed on this side, then you can move to the other side. So it's going to be a little bit tough to get loose. You want to take a 15 millimeter. It's going to be on there pretty tight. So you just start loosening it like that. Then you can hand loosen the rest of it. The nut will come off. The washer will come off. And now you're ready to start putting the training wheels on. So before we start putting this all together, if these are still just hand tight, you want to go ahead and take your 17 millimeter wrench or an adjustable wrench and you can start to tighten this all together. So you want a 17 millimeter on this side, a 13 millimeter on this side to hold it all together. And you can take those two wrenches and just start tightening this all down. And once that's nice and snug, the training wheel should have a little bit of play. That's natural, but you shouldn't have any looseness in the bolts. So then you want to line this bracket up like this. If this is a 20 inch bike, you'd go on the top half, but because we're assembling a 16 inch here, you want to be on the bottom half. You put that on line the bracket up like this. Now you want the training wheel to actually be about a half an inch off the ground. This will allow your child to balance but still be supported uh, by the training wheel. Now put the washer on, put the nut on and you can start hand tightening that and that kind of tightens everything into place. And then you can use a 15 millimeter wrench like this but if you've got a 15 millimeter socket wrench this is going to be the easiest to use uh, because you want this bolt to be nice and snug. So you can just kind of tighten it down, support the training wheel a bit and just get this as snug as you can. 
with the socket wrench. Now you're good to go. Now you're just gonna to wanna to repeat the exact same process on the other side. You'll have both training wheels installed and you'll be ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our customer experience team. They'll be happy to help.